All right, everybody, welcome back. So this is just a short little video to talk about the documents that I share every morning. On the screen right now is today's levels that I shared. And what I want to highlight is that the name is showing in the document. So it shows it there, but it also shows it here and tells you what kind of document it is. You can see that it's a TXT document. That's just a, a typical text document, text file. And this is a PDF document. So what I'm doing here is I'm sharing this. This is a readable document. You can download that as a PDF and read uh, like a blog post. But these other three, those are indicators. This one is the Spock Emma levels for Thinkorswim, TOS. It's for today, March 27. This one is the OEC dashboard for Thinkorswim, TOS, for today, March 27. And this is the OEC dashboard for TradingView, TV, today, March 27. So it kind of gives you a clue on what it is before you download it. And these are the indicator codes, right? So now we need to import them. What we can do is just hit the download button and we end up with a uh, text document. So I'm going to hit download there. We'll let that do its thing. Let it pop up here. We're going to install these into TradingView, which is um, a little more tricky, I guess, than on Thinkorswim. But really, there's not a lot to it. So nice and easy. Just got to let the document pop up here. All right. So here's the text document. And as you can see, it's just a bunch of uh, code, right? It's just a, a lot of code. We don't even try bothering to read it. We just want to copy it all. So you can use your mouse and just copy everything like that. And then once you've copied it, you can hit copy using the menu buttons, or you can hit control A, that highlights everything, and then control again and hit C, C for copy. So I just copied all of that code. Now I can come over to trading view and I need a new indicator the first time. After the first time, you can just reuse indicators. So let's make a new indicator here. You want to just scrunch, uh, bring this bottom up, right? Go to Pine Editor. Maybe you're on Stock Screen or Strategy Tester. You want to go to Pine Editor. Come over here to Open. And it's going to ask you, what do you want to open? Well, you want a new indicator. So go to New Indicator. And then just copy uh, everything that's in there and get rid of it, right? Highlight everything clean it out to where there's no code in there at all, and then paste the script that we copied from that document, all right? Now, right now it's not titled. If I want to name this something specific, this would be the time to do that. So I'm gonna name it. And we'll hit save. And there we go, it's done. So now I can add it to the chart. It's going to pop up and show me all of this stuff. Just hit apply. And there we go. We've got the indicator on trading view. Now, tomorrow, I'm going to share the document again, and it's going to have code in it. You don't have to do what we just did here. You'll be able to go in and uh, overwrite that code with tomorrow's code. What you'll want to do tomorrow is find the indicator that you made today. And what I do is I go to these three buttons right here where it says more, click on that, go to source code, and it'll pop up like this. And then you'll just copy um, everything from tomorrow's document and paste it in here and just overwrite whatever was in here, right? So you'll delete everything that's in this document and you'll put in tomorrow's code. And that way you're not making a new indicator over and over and over and over, right? Um, we don't want, you know, 250 different indicators at the end of the year. Just keep using that one indicator day after day. However, and this one, this is just a little tip. There's times where it's kind of hard to see what we have now versus what we had yesterday. Like 
how much did things change between one day and the next? If you find that you're in that situation, one thing that you can do is instead of overriding everything and putting tomorrow's code in today's indicator, you can just make another indicator and then you'll have both. You'll have yesterday's and then you'll have today's, right? Where you tomorrow, you'll have today's and you'll have tomorrow's. You have them both. And that way you can turn them both on and compare them to each other. How much did things change? Normally, I don't need to do that. Or if I think I might, I just go ahead and I use my drawing tool and I just mark a couple of these out, right? So say I'm worried about the one standard deviation level. Well, I can just use my drawing tool and bring my line up like that. And then, of course, open the line up and call it one standard deviation and you know mark out whatever lines i think i might need and then overwrite it with the new code and then i'll have my drawings there showing me where the old lines were and i'll have the new indicator put in there to where i could see where the new stuff is at all right so that handles trading view it's under pine editor and you just want to go to new or excuse me open new indicator right for thinkorswim you know, things used to be a lot easier with Thinkorswim. We could just share um, a little link and you could open that link and you'd be good to go. But ever since Schwab bought the place, now it seems like we're always sharing the full code and you got to put that in there. The way you do it is hit the download button. And again, it's just a text document. We can see that it's a text document. It says it there. We open up that text document. And we can see that it's the Thinkorswim levels. So we just copy all of this code, come over to Thinkorswim. We go to the beaker, create an indicator, get rid of whatever code was already in there. Every new indicator starts with some code in it. So we wipe all that out, give it a name. And I like to date these on Thinkorswim. And then hit OK. So now we've got the OEC levels for the day. And we got the date. Tomorrow we could um, do the same thing. We can create a new indicator and overlay it on the old one to see how much things have changed. Or we can just go in and hit the scroll here next to the name. And we would just want to highlight all of this code and delete it. Get the new text document tomorrow. Get the code out of it. Bring it in. Paste it. Change the name. Tomorrow would be right like the 28th. And then hit apply. And you've got the code for tomorrow done. And every day we do this, right? I know it seems a little monotonous that you have to download it every day and put it into an indicator. But it's the same for me too. I have to go get all of this information, put it into a text document, and then put it into the Discord for you. So trust me, it's monotonous for me as much as it is for you. But these levels change every day. And there is no integrated system where Thinkorswim or TradingView or one of these other platforms could read that data and give us these levels. These are coming from uh, firms that put these levels together into a shareable document. So there's just there's just no way to other way to do it, right? So hopefully that gives you some clarity on the documents that get shared every day between the founder's note and then these spot gamma levels versus the OEC dashboard levels and what that really entails, right? I appreciate your time, guys, and I look forward to seeing you at the next one.